Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Bee Life S10 vacuum that they recently sent out to me for this review and unboxing. So ideally this works better for shorter carpets and then hardwood floors or hard tile floors, but a carpet like this works great and you guys can see that little light right there. You guys could really see where you're vacuuming. All right guys, so as you can see in the kitchen, this is very nice because you can get under all your cabinets and then the light really helps you see what you're doing in some of those hard to reach spots. All right guys, so let's get into the unboxing of the Bee Life S10 vacuum. All right, so we get a little user manual right there and a bunch of different attachments. We're gonna set them all right here on the table and then take a closer look at them in just one moment. All right, so this is everything that comes in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap all the plastic off of it. I'll be right back. All right, so let's quickly go through all of these parts and then we're gonna show you exactly how this thing works, how to clean it and all the fun stuff that you guys could do with this. All right guys, so first up is this extendable tube here. So this is how you guys attach this to the actual vacuum and this is how far it extends. That is max. You guys have a bunch of different levels it's adjustable. You guys have two attachments here. You guys have the brush one and then something for like corners. Here's the battery that you guys put into the actual vacuum. A wall mount that also comes with some screws and the little drywall screw kit. You guys also get this wall mounting kit along with all the hardware that you guys would need and instructions on how to install this. This is how you recharge a battery, just a little DC block. You guys have this little cleaner. You guys could use this little blade right here to cut hair off that gets trapped in here. Two extra filters. So here's the brush attachment. This is how you guys are gonna vacuum carpet, stuff like that if you're not just using this by hand. You guys get some really nice smooth wheels on the bottom and a very soft bristle brush right there. And it also rotates very easily. So here's the start of the show. This is the actual motor or the vacuum, whatever you wanna call it. On the back there, you guys get a little battery indicator. So let's go ahead and put this all together and then we're gonna go over some of the features of this vacuum. All right, so we've only been vacuuming for a couple of minutes and we're gonna see just how much dirt we're able to collect. So when you guys are ready to empty, just press this button and it drops everything right in there. So that is how you guys empty it. It's pretty mess free. You don't have to stick your hand in there at all. The bun's on the outside. And then you guys also have the max fill line right there. So if it gets above that, make sure you guys empty this out to make sure that this thing performs the way it should. And they do even give you the sticker right here to help you maintain the vacuum for maintenance. They basically walk you through everything, but I'm gonna go over a few points with you right now. So first I'm gonna be showing you how to take out the HEPA filter. So there's a little mark right there. You guys just turn this and then you lift it up. And here is the filter. I haven't used the vacuum too much yet, so it looks pretty good to me, but that's what the inside looks like. If you guys need to replace it, just set it back in there, put the lid back on top to the first mark and then give it a twist to the solid and now it's back and locked. So now I'm gonna show you how to clean the other dust filter on the inside. We're gonna start by opening that up and we're gonna use this device right here to turn it. So right up here, there's a little lock and unlock icon. I'm gonna twist this to the unlock and now this should be free to pull out. All right, so that's what the inside of the vacuum looks like. All right guys, so all three of these parts are washable. Let's go ahead and give them a rinse. This makes cleaning this dust filter very easy. And we can even rinse this filter. We just have to give it enough time to dry completely before we use it again. And we can also rinse this lid here. This one isn't too dirty, but now all these are much cleaner. And then for the vacuum, you guys could just take like a wet wipe and go on the inside and clean all of this out. It's just important to remember that this needs to dry completely before you use it next. So maybe just let it dry overnight while it's still all open and not together. But as you guys can see, it's very easy to clean. All right, so you guys might be able to more closely see now the lock and then the unlock icon right there. There's another lock and unlock icon for this dust filter. So we get a few of these, but this one's barely been used, so I'm gonna put it back in. Yes, it's a little dirty, I just used the vacuum. All right, so all three of these pieces are actually washable, and for this little inner dust cap, you guys can actually just use a wet wipe to clean the inside, just to make sure that it gets nice and clean. It's important to know that these are not washable, but they do give you a few extra of these filters. So let this dry after cleaning it, and then you guys could just put this one back in, give it a twist, then you guys just stick this back inside of the vacuum and twist it to the lock. And you guys could also use this tool if need be, but you guys could also do it by hand. Then you guys just put the top HEPA filter back on. And then once again, you just attach it right there, give it a twist and now it's locked. 
and it's back running. Now it's important to remember that the actual machine itself is not washable, just those few items I just showed you. They recommend washing that HEPA filter up here twice a week, and then you replace the HEPA filter every three to six months, depending on how much you guys use it. All right, so my final thoughts for the BeLife S10 vacuum. I really like the way this thing looks, has a lot of cool like rose gold accents. I was also very surprised at how powerful this battery powered vacuum was. It had no problem on some of my carpets. And of course in our kitchen, it did a wonderful job at getting under those cabinets. And I also appreciate how many attachments that this thing comes with. You guys could really do a lot with it. So anyways, that is my really quick review and unboxing of the BeLife S10 vacuum.